Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Schultz. Today we have a story from Legends of the Rhine that takes place in Castle Nidek. A story about a race of giants in possibly the most relatable tale ever. This is The Toy of the Young Giantess. In olden times, a race of giants is said to have lived in Alsace. Castle Nidek, in the Valley of Brush, was their residence. But even the ruins of this fortress have long since disappeared. The legend, however, remains to tell us that they were a peaceable people, well disposed to mankind. The daughter of the master of the castle was one day leisurely walking through the adjoining wood. On approaching the fields and meadows of the valley, she perceived a peasant plowing. The young giantess looked in great astonishment at the tiny man who seemed to be so busily engaged, trudging along after his little team and turning up the ground with his small iron instrument. She had never before seen anything so wonderful and was very much amused at the sight. It seemed to her a nice little toy, and she clapped her hands in childish glee so that the echoes sounded among the mountains. Then, Picking up man, horse, and plow, she placed them in her apron and hurried gaily back to the castle. There, she showed her father the nice little toy, greatly pleased at what she had found. The giant, however, shook his enormous head gravely and said in a displeased tone, Don't you know, child, who this trembling little creature with this struggling tiny animal is that you have chosen for a plaything? Of all the dwarfs down in the valley below, he is the most useful. He works hard and indefatigably in scorching heat, as well as in windy cold weather, so that the fields may produce fruit for us. He who scoffs at or maltreats him will be punished by heaven. Take the little laborer therefore back to the place he came from. The young giantess, greatly ashamed and deeply blushing with embarrassment, put the amusing little toy back into her apron and carried it obediently down to the valley. Again, it's a short tale, but my goodness, it's a lovely one, isn't it? The story of a little giantess who mistakes a laborer in the fields for a toy and then is chastised rightly by her father. This is Dan Scholes of the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, anywhere you'd like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always... Thank you so much for listening.